What's happening YouTube? My name is Alex and welcome to a new unboxing video. For today I got something very exciting. This is the Xiaomi Mi Mix and I also got the version with 6 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. This also has those gold rims around the, the fingerprint scanner and the camera. So I'm very very excited about this phone. I've been waiting for this for about 5-6 weeks. So let's talk about the price of this phone. This is not a cheap phone by any means. I believe that this version of the phone costs around $900. So it's a very, very expensive phone and you can basically buy any other phone for the price of this one. However, no other phone is gonna look like this one. But this was not the first phone that uh, has this bezel-less design. There was a Sharp about a year ago that uh, looked kind of like that, but uh, it didn't have the greatest specs. With this one we get the Snapdragon 821, we get 6 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, of course uh, running Android 6.0.1 and hopefully it will be updated to Android 7 in the near future. So without any further ado, let's uh, get this box open and check out the phone. This time around we don't get that white plain looking box like most Xiaomi devices, this time we get a black box, on the front we see Mix designed by me and on the left hand side we are going to see the storage capacity of the device. On the back we are going to find some specs, the IMEI and the serial number. So let's see how to open this box, so I'm guessing I'm going to pull on this, not the easiest thing uh, to open I have to say, so I'm trying to get this out. But yeah, definitely not uh, the easiest thing to take out. And after quite a struggle, I was able to get uh, that out. So the box opens this way and the first thing we see, it's the phone. And this is the most exciting phone that I've uh, probably seen. And it is a bit heavy, it's uh, probably one of the heaviest uh, phones out there. So we have a 6.44 uh, inches display and I'm actually gonna bring a couple of uh, other phones so you can compare this in size with them. So uh, let's see what else we get in the box. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. So we get something written uh, here in Chinese that I have no idea what it uh, means. So no, no idea. And let's see what we have in here. This is probably the, I was gonna say it's the power adapter, but it's actually the cable. I was expecting that they would include like a black cable with this, uh, considering that the phone is black. And on this side we have the power adapter. And let me bring this closer to you so you can see what uh, it says on it. So a lot of Chinese in there, uh, it's a 1.5 amp uh, charger. So we'll leave this aside. And of course this is a uh, USB-C as well. So let's see what else we have in here. So we have a little uh, manual. So of course this is in Chinese again and this is the SIM card tray removal tool. And I guess that's it for the box. So this looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure uh, why I don't have... Oh wait, maybe there is something else in here. Or not. I thought that uh, this would come with like a leather case or something like that. Because otherwise that's gonna get like all scratched in the, no time. So no leather case with this version from uh, the looks of it, unless it's hiding in the box somewhere, but I highly doubt it. So let uh, me take this away. And now the phone itself. So let's remove this uh, protector from the screen and we also have one on the back here. And there's another sticker uh, right here on the back and uh, I'm gonna remove this one as well. And yes, I have the one with the gold uh, rims around the fingerprint scanner and the camera. And that's a 16 megapixel camera with a dual tone uh, flash right there. And we also see Mix uh, designed by uh, me. So this phone is definitely super slippery, like the most slippery phone that I've uh, ever touched. We have a ceramic uh, frame all around it, so the entire phone basically it's made out of ceramic. The back, the sides uh, and everything except for the screen. And I imagine the screen is going to be covered by some type of uh, Gorilla Glass. At the bottom here we are going to find uh, what seems to be like two speakers. However, only one of them is a speaker. The other one is uh, the microphone and the USB-C charging port. On this side we have uh, the power button and the volume keys. And of course these ones uh, are also made out of ceramic. 
And on top we're gonna find uh, that could be a secondary microphone, uh, I believe, and another microphone there, so something like that, and the 3.5mm uh, audio jack. And on this side we're gonna find uh, the SIM card tray slot. And lastly on the front of the device we have a 6.44 inches display and this display has a resolution of uh, 17 by 9 so that means that uh, whenever you're watching some YouTube videos for example the videos aren't going to be able to fill the entire screen. As you probably noticed we don't have a speaker uh, right there. Uh, we actually have something called the piezoelectric uh, speaker. It's not actually a speaker. The body of the phone vibrates and that's um, how you'd be able to actually listen to the conversation there. And we also have an ultrasonic uh, proximity sensor. So yeah, a lot of uh, technology in this um, phone here. And we also have uh, the front facing camera right here at the bottom. So let's uh, turn this on and see how this screen looks because I'm uh, very excited about this screen. So we get uh, the Mi logo right there and it shouldn't be that long uh, till it starts up. And it's on and I have to say that this is the most exciting phone I have ever seen. Like no bezels almost. Of course there are some bezels around the screen but um, it's like the most amazing looking phone ever. And you get such a big screen in uh, such a small phone. Take my uh, Mi Note 2 for example. So they're about the same size. The mix is a bit uh, bigger. But the screen is so much uh, bigger in reality than um, the screen on the Mi Note 2. So uh, I see that uh, it actually comes with a Play Store uh, pre-installed. I wasn't actually expecting that this would have the Play Store pre-installed. So, um, of course, we have Android 6.0.1, but let's go uh, at about phone here. So, here we can see that we have 6 gigs of RAM. Um, the storage, we have about 246 um, gigs of internal storage out of that uh, 256. So, about 10 are being uh, taken by the operating system. And that's the Android version um, right there. Oh my, this looks so awesome. Like, look uh, at this screen. It's unbelievable. If we compare this with, uh, I don't know, uh, Note 7, for example, or the Google Pixel XL, just this screen is like mind-blowing, like nothing that I've ever uh, experienced before. So yeah, this is the most exciting phone uh, for 2016 by far. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, so I was gonna actually go to lock screen first, um, fingerprint scanner, and I was gonna add a fingerprint here. Let's set a pattern here for now. So, uh, something to easily remember. I just want to see how uh, fast the fingerprint scanner uh, unlocks the phone. So, ready to rock. Let's lock this and let's see. So, all you have to do is actually touch that uh, fingerprint scanner and it is extremely quick. Oh, let's try it again. Okay. Wow. Well, like it is very very quick as soon as you actually touch that fingerprint scanner it um, unlocks and I have to say that the phone looks uh, spectacular with those uh, 18k uh, gold rings around uh, the camera and the fingerprint scanner so yeah it's nothing that I've ever uh, seen before but this is by far the most uh, slippery phone I have ever ever had and considering that I don't have a case I'm gonna actually have to look in that box um, again maybe the box is not totally empty because uh, I would really love to have a case for this uh, phone. So we've seen um, how that uh, looks, so the fingerprint scanner. Now let's see that camera. We have a 16 megapixel camera on the back there. So let's allow that. Let's leave that, okay. I'm hoping that the camera would be a bit better than the camera on my uh, Mi Note 2. And let's see those uh, pictures here, all agree. So not the brightest picture out there. However, there is a lot of uh, detail uh, in the picture. And let's turn this around because uh, it's uh, a bit different uh, with that uh, front facing camera. What is that? I have no idea what that means. So let's say, okay. So looking at the camera, so the camera is uh, sitting in a strange spot, uh, like right away as soon as you look at the phone, it's like what? So you're gonna have to actually flip the phone like this uh, if you wanna take a, oh no, 
if you want to take a picture like uh, with a normal phone and let's see that picture so a lot of detail in this picture but it's not uh, that uh, that clear but um, we'll have to see how this does in uh, like low light conditions and stuff like that but yeah for now this uh, phone looks uh, unbelievable like i just can't believe uh, that uh, that screen let me try changing the wallpaper here i just want to see how it would look with something like this for example wow look at that unbelievable or this or maybe this like look how this looks it's just uh, mind-blowing how this uh, phone looks like it's the most beautiful phone out there i'm definitely changing my uh, mi note 2 to this uh, as my daily driver like this is gonna make things so much uh, easier to do with such a big screen so yeah this screen it's uh, gorgeous and i probably said that uh, about 20 times um, already so uh, next I'm gonna actually install uh, the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 4 uh, and I'll run those and I'll come back uh, with the results. Starting with the Antutu Benchmark, here we get a score of about 128,000 and I'm sure that that score uh, can be a bit higher uh, if I put this in performance mode. So uh, here we can see some specs, the screen's resolution, uh, the camera on the back and the available RAM. And on the Geekbench 4 we get a multi-core score of 4087 and a single core score of 1812. Down here we can see some uh, system information and some more information about the test. So this is by far one of the most beautiful uh, phones I have ever seen. I mean uh, there is no comparison in between this and any other uh, phone on the market uh, looks wise. A lot of people are not gonna love uh, Xiaomi's own skin uh, that uh, it's installed on this phone. And I'm a bit uh, concerned why the Play Store was actually pre-installed on this device because um, technically there shouldn't be any Play Store. And I do have uh, a feeling that um, this phone may actually have like a ROM uh, from the shop that's coming from, so from uh, Gearbest. I will do a factory reset and see if that Play Store uh, disappears. Um, I'm hoping that the Play Store disappears because um, I, I wouldn't really like... Um, a custom ROM uh, installed on this phone just because um, as we probably know from the past um, custom ROMs are not uh, the best thing for these uh, phones all right guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video I will definitely do some speed uh, tests between this phone probably the Google Pixel the Mi Note 2 a gaming test uh, will also show up shortly so uh, if you did like the video press that like button don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching